Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another beat breakdown of how Two Hollis makes beats for Ian. Alright, so here's the beat. Alright, so for this beat, we started with the classic signature Two Hollis sound. He used a lot in his works, like in White Tiger. This synth in specific comes from the Sinju Serum Bank Volume 2. Sinju has worked a lot with Two Hollis, so this bank you will find a lot of sounds that you can make Two Hollis type beats. This specific preset is a synth called Crumble. So for the melody, you generally want to go a minor scale and play something dark and mysterious. A key tip to make melodies with the sound is add a low bass note and a super high note, maybe two or three octaves above, and that will give you that nice chord dissonance. It also works out super well if you just delay the top note. Next on the melody we got this higher synth tone that complements the other sound pretty well. This is also a preset from Shinju Serum Bank Volume 2, Pluck called Picnic. And finally, the last coding of the melody that just adds a beautiful texture and punch is a strong brass, reminiscent of Chief Keef beats. That really adds a lot to the initial hit when you want an explosive sound layered with an 808. Next up, we got the drums. The hi-hats, super simple. The real, real sauce on these hi-hats is the time shift. So if you open hi-hat, go into the wrench, this shift knob right here, this will change your life. And I automated it, so at first, there is no time shift, but as the beat progresses, there is a time shift. Listen to the clap and the hi-hat together. And then right when the 808 hits, I bring the time a little bit lower, so it's not as offbeat, but it still has that bounce. Next up, we got the... For this sound, you can pretty much use any saw wave, square wave based pluck, okay? You just gotta automate the filter and make that pluck very fast, okay? You could also add distortion. You could add a bunch of other things to make it crispy clear. But, you know, Tuhalas likes to switch it up. He likes to change it up, make it unique. Next, we'll be going over the 808. For this beat, I used three different 808s. Yeah, the reason why I use three different 808s is because it sounds fresher to me with every 808 sounding a different tone. For all your 808s, make sure you cut self, adjust this envelope, turn the hold 100% and everything else down. So the 808 stops when you let go of the note. You don't have to always play the root notes. You can play just anything in the key of the anything in the key of the song. Next, to help with the bounce of the beat, the open hats that hit when the 808 hits. Also, good tip: make the 808s hit exactly when the melody hits. Very 
That way it will provide a more cohesive, full, hard-hitting sounding beat. Next, I added a little bit of Rip Squad snares. A good tip to make your beat drops hit much harder. Automate the stereo separation. Okay, so you want the sound to be as thin as mono as possible right before the beat drop. So when the beat hits, it's ginormous and wide and fills your headphones. And lastly, just for a little bit of ear candy, I reversed this hi-hat roll and stretched it so it sounds like a riser. This is how it originally sounded. Tight, punchy, but also airy. So you have room for people to rap on it. Like Ian. And that concludes the video of how Two Hollis makes beats for Ian. And I'm excited to see what other music he has coming, if he's going to collab with him more. We'll see.